Damien made a video where he got, I want to say three CompTIA certifications, like 30 days, right? Yeah, three and 30 days. 30 days. And I actually reacted to it. Before I even released it, I, I reached out to him like, yo, hey, I reacted to this and it's going to be dropping in such and such time or whatever. Because I knew you were new, so I didn't want you to feel like I was ragging on you or whatever, right? So no, I know some of your family popped up on there, so they probably didn't even know that I had actually spoke to you and was actually talking to you behind the scenes or whatever. Um, for me, it was just a different way to just react to different content because at that mm -hmm. time, you had so many people making tech content or trying to get in. And so everybody's sharing mm -hmm. their differences. So I was just giving my opinion based on, I think at that time I had already been in eight or nine years. So I was telling people based on what I know now is why I probably wouldn't advise it just because of not even on the fact of like how hard it is retaining that information, but how sometimes it, what it can do to you as well with and I'll let you give your, your opinion on it, but what I feel like happens a lot of times is a lot of the new people have watched a lot of these content creators tell them, go get your security plus, go get your network plus, go get this. And it builds up this level of expectation for them. And then they get everything so fast, but the job doesn't come as fast as they thought it would happen as fast as they passed that test. Mm -hmm. And so that's what I, I tell people like, well, I'll be like, does it matter? It can, but the way that people can either proctor these tests or go take them for you or how fast you can pass it has kind of let down like the level of relevance that a lot of higher rangers used to have for the search just because of how people are able to memorize information and then take it. And they've had plenty of people who've got certifications, but got on the job and then pan out. And so that's why I watch some people like you. Yeah. They're good, but you have to do your own thing to kind of make sure you can understand it if you're not at a lenient company. So I always tell people, maybe one or two, but if you get started getting too many, you might oversell yourself. And they, if you do get hired, they may have false expectations. on. So what I really want to say about that, too, and I think I said in the comments, is like everything you said was right. And I actually agree with everything, every part of it, the entire evaluation. So the thing about certifications is that they were sold in a, in a way that this is all that you're going to need. The reality is that it's not. And my position was a little bit unique at the time where I was a complete true beginner. I didn't have a network. I didn't know anybody in this field. So this is my way of getting a, an overview or orientation of what was going on at the time. But what, what I can say is like, did it lead to a job? Not directly. And I think that we're going to talk about that. Like I put it in some of the slides that we're going to talk about. Because it's not certifications that get jobs. It's really skills that get the job. And what the certifications did for me, it told me what skills I need to go get. It gave me the, the vocab that I needed around the area. But directly, no, it doesn't lead to a job the way that people made it seem. So when people watch your reaction, I know that you're kind of treading carefully on it. But the reality is that you were right. <laughs> like, no, there's no if, ands, or buts about it. And also the expectation that people can have, like I do believe in doing certs fast just because I want to get them out of the way so you can move on to better things. Like for example, I, we're going to talk about that too. Like networking, I think is probably one of the bigger things that you're going to want to do. And if I can get the search out of the way, then I can start networking faster. That That's all it was. So that's what was going on in my mind for it. But my position at the time was unique. And the reality is, yo, you know what you was talking about. That's That's, it, that's all it is. Yeah, I appreciate that, man. Because, like I said, a lot of times, a lot of people sometimes they they when they come to my content, they've always came on some content where I'm like ripping into something, but they've never watched the full video. Like, they're I have like my biggest short to date is telling people, "Hey, certification is not going to get you six figures," and I still get people no, to come. It's not. And you know they'll say they'll you know people will talk about the minority instead of the majority, and I'm like. I saw a lot of times I mess with them like, well, do you want a cookie? Because like, I know this can happen for some people, but it didn't happen for everybody. So that's what I'm preaching to. Or if I'm you want to take a step further, bro? Go ahead. Go ahead. Because I don't think it's ever happened for anybody. Anybody making six figures wasn't given six figures because of a certification. They're given six figures because they're qualified for a job that has skills to back it up, not because of the cert itself. They definitely did. They went above and beyond what was necessary in the cert. But ain't nobody out here, even in today's world, just writing a six-figure check to somebody just because they got certed. Yeah. I would say, so I would say there's some caveats on that just based on what I know from coaching over the last five years. Like certain people have certain relationships and the, all they've had to get is a certain cert to meet certain requirements and they're getting the job. Or there are people who have some 
high level skills in another type of job role and they have some transferable skills that lead to that. Yeah. So I always put those caveats out there because there are people that's like that because there'll be people right now that watch and they say, well, hey, you just did a video of a person who didn't have no experience and they making six figures doing this and that. So I was like, I know those, but I was like, for most people with no high level income skills already starting from zero, yeah, most likely yeah. you're not going to get six figures. You, you, Hopefully you will get 45 to 55 maybe at a help desk or something. Possibly. Possibly. Because, because and what you just said is the real truth is that they had they already had some high level skills that were in demand, whether it's like organization or some type of project management, and they're brought into the tech world to be able to put together projects because some of us as engineers were not that organized, and we need someone that's on the outside that can you know keep us accountable and organized, and that's a six figure skill that they had, and they said, okay, if you go get your sec plus, we'll bring you in to be able to help us get organized, but really the six figures is for that skill of project management or like what the other thing that he said is that they already knew somebody. So it was, it was now their network and who was vouching for them. And it was that person saying, I'll hold this person's hand. I'll make sure they get the job done. I'll make sure they become competent in this. And and that's what did it more than the, the cert itself. Yeah, no, no, for sure. For sure. And, and we could talk about that later on. Yeah. Let's watch and know how many times I've said, Hey, I've advocated for some people I've coached or known and they've been able to get certain roles because of course they still have to come through in the interview. Mm -hmm. If you get a very good referral from somebody that's respected with another person that's respected at the company, you got a good shot at least of interviewing. And if you're better than everybody else, you got a good shot at landing the job. So after those three, the, well, the trifecta, <laughs> after, yeah. after the trifecta, how long did it take you to land 